Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Legend Car back with another video. Legend Car Games in the building. You already know what's going on. And today, I'm gonna be reacting to something a little scary today. Well, actually, yeah. I mean, yesterday we reacted to uh, animation, uh, animation like I was like 12:36, and y'all really liked the, the the scary animations. I don't know if y'all did. I mean, if y'all did, like, let me know. I mean, but I'm dropping another scary animation video today, which is the new series I'm going to be starting. And if y'all really do like this series, now, I, I did promise daily uploads, so I figured I'd react to disturbing true dark web horror story animation. Now, I actually meant, did not mean to click that, but then we're also going to react to another dark web animation. I do not go on a dark web, would not recommend it, but yeah. And check out this video, so let's do it. I was a regular on the chat rooms on the deep web back when I was a sophomore in high school. Oh, well. Wow. Literally every day for about five months straight. Before school, after school, after basketball practice. Okay, so after basketball bed, practice, they do always went on the dark web. I chat with this one guy all the time because he seemed really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. It always linked me to funny videos. In about a month three, it all changed. Mm. He would send links to weird rooms. Then the dark yeah, live streams. Cool. So one day I was on a stream and there was a lady changing the bed and gagged. Then I clicked off of the stream. And I tried to click something else. Yo. And the mouse quit moving. It started to move by itself and click back on the stream. Yo, the lady what? Down. When it opened back up, the lady was still there. And a man with a potato sack on his head was on the screen. The potato sack only had one eye cut out. And that's oh, that's crazy. There was a table that had a hacksaw, gun, and scissors with a shaving razor. Whoa. The man spoke into the camera and said, pick one. Everyone picked the scissors and the razor. He then shaved her head. After that, he said, pick another one. And everyone picked a gun. He picked it up, held it to her head, while the woman was screaming, and then I gained control of the mouse and clicked off of it. I was thinking to myself, what am I watching? Oh, no. Nah. Then my mouse clicked on another stream. It was the same man with a barrel with what looked like boiling water in it. <laughs> Yo. I tried gaining control of the mouse, but I couldn't. Then I heard a different woman Yo, crying what? in the background. Oh, my goodness. The camera then zoomed out. And on the screen, I saw the barrel. Bro, what the oh, hell? Man. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, eggs, no. Nah. You got me messed up, bro. The chat was split between the boiling water and the flamethrower. You the wild in, said, bro. I'll use both then. He rolled the crying woman into the side of the camera. Bro, what? The flamethrower and aimed it at the barrel. So this dude got a flamethrower? Bro, what? Nah, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued now. Nah, nah, I normally I was going to stay quiet for this whole animation, but nah, I'm intrigued. She started kicking and screaming even more. Oh, damn. The man called another guy in the room. They unchained her, picked her up, and threw her toward the barrel. The screen then went black, but I could clearly hear the woman screaming and splashing. For about two minutes, that's all I heard. Whoa. Then it stopped. The screen then came back and it was focused on the barrel. The two men just stood there, staring at the camera, breathing heavily. Mm. And that woman. I don't know how to explain it, but it was a terrible sight. Mm. Then the stream ended. That's crazy. I closed out of everything and I sat there in silence for a while. That's why you don't go on the dark web, guys. Honestly, that wasn't my last time on the dark web because... I honestly enjoyed it. There are a lot of people out there like me. More than you think. Oh, wow. Be careful about going on the deep or the dark web. That's crazy. All right, so yeah. We are going to stop Bowser. Ow, look at us. We're adorable. Three dark web horde. True story. Ter story. Uh, I think this is from the same hey guys, guy last today's time. Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Yeah, VPN I think this is the same guy from last time. Which allows you to browse the internet without trace. 
Did you know that it's possible for hackers and cyber criminals to track what you do online? You to be honest, die. I didn't think that animation was that scary. One. Those ones by these guys, I mean... You know... Dark web... Animated horror story. We looking at that. Yeah, let's look at the next one. Now, brace what you about to see, yo. Okay, okay. Too disturbing. I think this is from the same dude. Person we just watched. Who is he? Okay, so it's Wanzin Entertainment. That's the dude that we just watched. To two disturbing dark web horror animations. Shout out to MJ J5 animations. You know what? I'm gonna subscribe to his channel because I know it takes a long time, but these are actually scary and I rock with them. Road to 300k. Get them there. I'm a drug user. I'll admit it. Weed is my usual go to, but I buy that off my friend. If I want to get something a little heavier, however, like acid or coke, I'd just order it off the dark web. What? It's surprisingly simple. A few clicks, some Bitcoin transfers, and boom, I have acid in my P.O. box. But I'm also a curious guy. Yeah. The dark web has always intrigued me. Up until a few days ago, I had only been on there to buy drugs off sites some of my friends gave me. But late Bro, one night, what? I was sober and at home, which was a rare thing for me. So, so since bad, I was huh? bored, I decided to boot up my tour browser and try and see what sort of messed up stuff I could find on the dark web. If you've ever been on the dark web, you'll know that you can't just search up red rooms or hitmen for hire and get results. No, you have to find links to these websites first. So I hopped back on Google in an attempt to find some links to some messed up websites. I know it's weird that I was actively searching for the worst, but as soon as I got on the dark web that night, I had this weird sense of morbid curiosity that overcame me. Mm. Anyway, okay. I spent a little while trying to find some links. But These animations the are actually fine. I'm going to you, like, Look at, I like the details more. on the animations. are really I good. I was ready to give up. One final <laughs> Bro was looking for on <laughs> drugs on, on the dark web. web. <laughs> Duh, bro. I not find anything. Scrolled through the hot option for Bro, you 18, hour. right? Bro, let's go new. to the local store. Get yourself found. weed. It was one simple text post titled <laughs> Slayer's Assassination and Life Ruining Services. The text box of the unless he doesn't, unless he lives in a state where you no, know, you can't have letters. weed, but yeah. It took my tired brain a second to figure out what it was, but I realized pretty quickly it was a link, presumably to a Hitman website. So I decided to paste the link into my dark web browser. Okay. And, you know. It worked, but before nah, I decided bro. to go any further, I figured I should go back to the profile to see if they have posted any other dark web links. But when I went back to the post in question, the profile don't was ask created. why I decided to do the topic on the dark web. I don't know. I just I reopened I don't the dark know. web. I know. I've never site. really been on that. I think I've been on there before, but it wasn't like and life actually services. looking for stuff. Next to it was what looked to be a skull inside of a crosshair. Oh! I chuckled when I saw it. I figured the site must have been fake. Upon scrolling down, however, I was not disappointed. There was a paragraph of white text on a black background Whoa. and a small box to the right of the text that just said, Place an Order. The text was the main part, though, as it took up most of the page. It proceeded to list all the forms of killing they were able to do. Again, I laughed. This had to be satire, right? No. Nice. Oh, I was even tempted to order it on someone, just to see what would happen. Better not to risk it though. Nah, no, don't do it, don't do it, bro. I was about to close my computer. You gonna get the cops on you, cuz. the door. I live alone, so it was unusual to get visitors, especially so late at night. But when I, I opened my door, it was just my good buddy Mark, who also happened to be my weed plug. As I opened the door, he didn't hesitate to let himself in and shove a huge bag full of pot in my face. He said he got a really expensive kind and asked if I wanted to try some with him. I couldn't say no. Cut to a couple hours later. It's early morning, and Mark and I are chilling on my couch, both completely out of it at this point. Yeah. 
own a Shopify store, Mine's been smoking that good deal. <laughs> but it better not be no. He probably smoking on that good good. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. He's smoking on that good good. decides to get up, and I assume he's going to get some leftover pizza. But he walks over to my desk and computer. Slayer's assassination? Are you gonna kill someone or something? He mutters. What? I replied. Your computer, dude. It's got some hacker stuff on it. It's the dark web, man. Don't mess with it. I said. At this point, I'm still on my couch, half asleep and not paying full attention. However, I sat up pretty fast when I heard the words, Hey dude, let's order a hitman on you. I got up and walked over to my PC. Part of my brain was screaming no, but at the same time, with the state I was in, the majority of my brain was thinking about how funny it would be to order a hitman on myself. So I agree. At the end, after I wrote down all my personal details, like my address, my age, and even a photo of me, I had to select what I wanted to happen to me. I just selected plain old assassination, as it was actually cheaper than some of the other things. Anyway, I placed the order, and then replied to the confirmation email, and boom, it was done. A couple clicks, and I had ordered myself a hitman on the So, I have another Dark Web video I coming out, too, while. but it's kind of similar to this, but it, later, it was, like, explaining the Dark after. Web, like, woke up around nine okay, so the video was explaining the Dark Web, like, the Dark Web, what was going on on the Dark Web, like, for example, the basically, it's about, uh, it's about why you shouldn't go on the Dark Web, uh, so, you know, actually, on the Dark Web, Y'all don't know this. I know this because I know facts about it. Uh, but the dark web, if you order a hitman, it's not you're not actually getting a hitman, bro. This one, what you think? Do not order anything off the dark web because it's fake. It's just some undercover police and stuff. That's that's true facts. So if you do, but then there's some people on there that might actually kill them. Nine a.m., which meant I got at least six hours of sleep, even if I felt like I got three. I got up out of bed and brewed myself a coffee before sitting down to play some games and just enjoy my Sunday. But you can imagine how shocked I was when I saw I had ordered my own death the previous night. Even though I thought the site was BS, I still felt a pit open up in my stomach. Yeah. And even when I'm high, I can usually make sensible decisions. I chuckled. <laughs> even when I'm high. Like I could remember it anyway. Bro, high or right now. A normal human being would do something else. Yeah. I was I mean, still kind of out of it from the night before. I'm not even so high. I just carried on with my day. <laughs> I was a little bit. <laughs> he said, sure. I thought even high. He said, said, even when I'm high. BS. Bro, that's I crazy. laughed at the email I got from the website saying that the hitman had been dispatched and was on its way. Later that Whoa. night, a blacked out sedan parked on the other side of the road from my house. I didn't see it arrive, but around the time I started to cook myself some dinner, I noticed it out the kitchen window. Now, I didn't live in a rural area, but there were a lot of trees and bushes between each of the houses on my street. So, I would be surprised if any other house saw the car except for mine. At this point, I was freaking out. What if the sight was real? Even though I'm a big guy, I was still freaking out. I don't own any weapons, aside from a slightly larger than average kitchen knife. Screw yeah. it. I'm confronting it, I decided. I put on a hoodie and slid the kitchen knife into my front pocket before walking out of my house and right up to the driver's side window of the vehicle. Even I was astonished at my own courage. I knocked on the window. Nothing happened. It was rather anticlimactic. I was fully prepared to have a fight for my life, all because I did something really dumb while I was high off my mind. But, like I said, nothing happened. I even put my head right up to the window, as if there was a reflection, to try and get a better look to see what was inside. I could barely see anything, but I could make out two empty seats. No one was even inside. I had got all hyped up for nothing. I decided to wait out by the car for a bit. But after half an hour or so, I was hungry and had to go back inside to take my dinner out of the oven. I swear, it was only a minute between me going inside to take my dinner out of the oven and looking back out of the window that the car was gone. I didn't even hear it leave. Yes, I'm eating my dinner with all my curtains closed and doors locked, I muttered to myself. I had just started to calm down when the power shut off. No, sir, me. And coupled with the car, I ain't nobody doing that, bro. I had signed my own death warrant. I ran into my upstairs bedroom and locked the door. I then hid under the bed. I figured I couldn't call the cops. What would I say? That I ordered a hitman on myself? <laughs> I just stayed hiding under my bed. 
bro you really nah you can't even do that bro you can't even do that bro he can't even do that bro they're gonna be like uh this is the people uh bro uh you say you ordered a hitman on yourself i'll be like yeah bro i did nah bro uh i can't help you with nothing that you ordered it on yourself bro hey uh see you later bro uh bye cops just hang up and you're like go <laughs> I didn't say the other word, I said fuck. I said fuck. At night, cuz. Do not work. Ooh, no. Ready to refresh your style? Bro, all these ads, man. Bro, that's why I need you like? Google. YouTube Premium, bro. <sighs> Don't do this to become a YouTuber. A package marked return to sender. My neighbor's one of those hmm. annoying wannabe YouTube personalities. Over the years, let me guess, he mailed himself in a box. Lay flat on the hood of his car as it slowly creeps down the driveway and doused himself in lukewarm water. All the while screaming epic win, epic fail, or fuck, epic maintenance <laughs> of the status quo. Well, I know. It's a PG 13 I video, I don't, I don't care. About his shenanigans. In the pursuit oh, of hell no. Nah. Oh so hell no! Nah. Oh no! Nah. Damn! Him and asked that I get his mail. Honestly, it was a relief. I can't explain the peace of mind I had knowing I didn't have to brace myself for any of his stupidity for a while. Yeah, you don't have to hear him go. Hey! Bleeding over into my life. Things were pretty normal for the first couple of days. Oh my god! He received a few bills, a bit of spam, and what I could only assume was a birthday card. Then, one evening. I got home to find a cardboard box waiting on his front porch. In big red letters. Red oh my god, he mailed himself in the box. I swear I've seen something similar to this on YouTube. It was really freaking heavy. It's a dark web though. Across the road to my house was even oh. And I quickly realized it's YouTube there was no and way dark web. Oh, it's the both. My front door. I decided I'd leave his package in my garage. Do not. It wasn't like do I had a car in there. The garage door was a piece of shit that refused to open without a good thug or a whack. Yeah. It was less trouble just leaving the car in the driving way. So he mailed himself in a box. Oh. In hindsight, I should have set the package down while I struggled to open the tricky door. But you know how it is when you've got a good grip on something. No point in setting it down if you don't have to. It was as I kicked the door for a third time that I lost my grip on the package. And it fell to the ground. I heard a light crack inside. Shit. I cursed. I hope I hadn't broken anything important. But figured I just wouldn't tell my neighbor about it and let him assume the break happened en route. Hands free, I finally managed to get the garage door unstuck. And boy, did it screech in protest as it rolled up and over me. I dragged the yeah, box. Yeah, so of the he way, dragged the box in and, and went. For whenever my neighbor would come back to Bro, me. you're not supposed to actually mail yourself in a box. It's supposed to be fake. <laughs> Guys, should I mail myself in a box? And then. All about it. <laughs> nah, I ain't it's doing that, bro. You got me messed up, man. Exactly sure I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fake that video, but I'm gonna be like milling myself in the box for 24 the hours. But in reality, I'm not even moving. In slow progression, it was a sickly sweet odor smell similar to a skunk. And for the first few days after I smelled it, I genuinely assumed. That's <laughs> yeah, it's like the video. I'm milling myself to China. <laughs> left its mark on my house. It was only when I realized the scent was growing more intense instead of fading away mm. that I looked for a source. That's when I opened the garage door. Mm. That's when the odor knocked me back, holding my nose. The culprit wasn't hard to identify. The only change in my garage was the box in the corner. I remember thinking it must have been one of those meat of the month subscription boxes. The meat must have gone rancid from being left out from the fridge for so long. How much meat could have been in there for the box to have been so freaking large and heavy? An entire meat. freaking cow? I covered my nose as I approached the box, a pair of scissors in my hands. I probably wouldn't have needed them to open it. As it had become soggy enough at the bottom to poke through with the finger. But I wasn't about to poke my finger into spoiled meat juices. That soggy bottom was the reason I had to open the box in the first place. He covered his face it out like, out oh no, bro. It would spill out onto the floor. I was going to have to dump the pieces of meat one garbage bag at a time. One take garbage. Down to the dumpster. A process I wasn't looking forward to. My scissors tore through the tape along the top of the cardboard box. So he's opening the box. But as I flipped the flaps open, I discovered a What's in the box, bro? Stink. It's probably that dude. It was like bro, I, bro, it's the dude. I've never seen this before, but I bet you it's the dude. He mounted himself in the box for a YouTube video. Why? 
but instead of a heat wave, <laughs> nah, like bro, it really melted so from the bottom. It's 24 hours. It was so bad that I staggered back and had to force down the puke, begging to get a lot of me. I don't bro, think I, swear, I, I see some more throw. Mingled with the horrors coming out of the box. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit I ran out of the door for a breath of fresh air. Get a mask. But in the short time I'd spend in the garage, get a mask. The smell get that corona mask. So ingrained in the fabric of my clothes that it clung to me like a shadow. Mm -hmm. Nothing I try could keep okay. the smell out of my nostrils. So I'm Friday, guessing he uh open he was trying to do a YouTube challenge and he thought this the he thought it was every second uh, that the box that I opened in my garage was another yeah, second he, the smell was allowed he, he to put hold into my house. Was another second the smell was allowed to put hold into my home. I had to bite the, in the box. I returned to the garage. I'll tell you what's in the box. The flash of the box. I don't make my face cam bigger because I don't notice that my face cam kind of small. The there, there, there we go. Garbage bag in one hand. I mean, I don't know why it's about to be the end of the video. And long rubber gloves to keep my skin from having to. We watch one more video now. Nah, I think I said that for next time. I needed none of those things. I wouldn't have to touch or clean the contents of that box. Clean the box. I ain't cleaning no box. What's on the box? In that box? But it didn't come from a cow or a pig. Oh. No, it was worse than that. It was my neighbor. Dead. Still in one piece, but dead. He dead. Called the cops and naturally they took me in for interrogation. It's kind of hard not to suspect the man with a corpse in his garage after all. Thankfully they soon realized I wasn't involved. My DNA might have been all over that box. The smell might have left a mark throughout my house. But there was one piece of irrefutable evidence in my neighbor's own hands that proved my innocence. A vlogging camera. They showed me the footage only once. I'm not sure if they were allowed to, or if they felt so bad for me they figured it couldn't hurt. Either way, I saw it. My neighbor was sitting in the box outside of a shipping facility, laughing as he told the world how he was going to mail himself across state lines. He brought pee bottles, food, a pillow, and a few flashlights. His friends... A guy had seen at his place several times to help with his stunts. Closed the lid and presumably dropped him off for shipment. Throughout the next couple of hours, or days, I'm honestly not sure, my neighbor recorded a few short clips about his progress. I think I'm in a truck now. I can feel it moving. Must be in a warehouse. Pretty warm here. Still got plenty of food. That kind of stuff. The box toppled over. He broke his neck and that was it. Mm. The camera recorded until either the memory card got too full or the battery died. There's one thing I didn't tell the police after they showed me the video. One thing I heard in the footage that will haunt me to the day I die. Just after the tumble that broke his neck, I heard the familiar screeching sounds of my garage door. So, basically, he killed his neighbor. <laughs> Not trying to, but, you know, because that dude decided to melt himself in the box. Yeah, interesting. This is what we doing nowadays. We we milling it. We we milling our cheddar in boxes. Yeah, I already watched that. If y'all guys want more reactions, make sure to subscribe, like the video, turn on my post notification. Shouts to M J V. Uh, still making videos, still getting a lot of views, and they still doing their thing, man. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright. Peace.